In this problem, we're going to solve for t with a twist. So suppose you have $1,400 in your savings account at the end of a certain period of time. You invested $1,100 well, $1 at 3.2% simple interest rate. How long in years was your money invested? So this is a question asking about time. This is a question involving simple interest. So I know I'm I equals PRT. So my first value I see in my formula is, okay, I've got $1,400. So is that interest? Is that principal? Like, what is that? And it says at the end of a certain period of time. So what this is, is your account balance at the end of it all. What you invested plus your interest, that is your future value. So at the end of all this time, you have $1,400. Okay, well, I don't have a place to put future value in my formula, so I'm just gonna hold that off to the side for a second. Second sentence, you invested $1,100. Ah, so this is my principal. This is what I started with. And I've got 3.2% simple annual interest, so that's R. And of course, how long? That means I'm gonna be solving this equation for T. So to capture what we have, we don't know the interest. We know the principal is $1,100. Our rate, 3.2%, so convert that to a decimal of 0 0.032, and the time, that's what we're gonna solve for. So let's plug, well wait, we can't plug all this in, right? We would have two unknown values. Hmm. So we need to go back to the $1,400 and the future value. What does that mean for us? Well, future value is principal plus interest. And we know that the future value was $1,400. Our principal was $1,100. So whatever I add to that is my interest. So if I subtract 1,100 from each side, I could see that $300 is the interest. So that's the missing piece I need in order to get this uh, equation solved for T. So now I know that $300 is I, and now I can do what I've been doing the whole time. 300 equals 1100 times 0 0.032 times T. And now this is like old hat, okay? So on the right, we're gonna do 1100 by 0 0.032. So my equation simplifies 300 equals 35.2 T. Now I'm gonna divide each side by 35.2 so that I get cancellation and T is isolated. And now I have 8.522727 for T, time and years. And we're going to round this to three decimal places as the bottom right screen is telling me. So I got 8.532 for T, and that's in years. That is how long it takes for $1,100 to grow to $1,400.